Tedsec initiation retro. Your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to bypass Bloom security doors and get inside. Then find and erase your personal CTOS profile. Whatever they have on me, it's all bullshit. And I'm sick of getting harassed for it. All the more reason for a purge. We'll be watching. Try to keep up. By the way, we put this playlist together to set the mood. Hope you like it.
You're wasting your time. He's not in. Gotcha. So that's him. He's got a gun. Is that a problem? Well, problems are why you keep me around, right? Time him. I'm curious. Too late. He's in. Already? Don't say I don't know. I have no idea. Nuh-uh. No synonyms either. Give me a real answer. I'm just not that into aliens or video games. It's not just any alien. It's... Oh, come on. Anyone else having a problem with their phone? Ooh, what? Oh, God. Oh, God! that already? Yeah, I never listened. raised in Oakland, but was born in... <laughs> His deal is, he's been hanging around the dead sec IRC, and he's got cred. Figured we'd give him a test drive. On the hardest difficulty, nobody's been able to delete their CTOS profile before. I want to see if he's smart, stubborn, or both. Stay on him! He's getting some cover! Back up! CTOS tagged him as the prime suspect in a high-tech burglary, so... He's done time? Community service. Not enough evidence. Just the word of CTOS's predictive algorithms. But once in the system... Always in the system. Holy shit! He went for it! He won't have much time before the backups kick in. Going in the hot aisle. It's at least 120 degrees in there. Give the man props. It's going the mile.
in the system. Nobody's gotten that far. This is like the secret cow level. Why is my threat so high? This is bullshit. I could just... Drop a little back door into the system so I can get back inside later. Sorry, Bloom. We've got unfinished business. He's heading out. Bag him. Yeah. Moving on. Alright, come on. 
Hold it right there. Help him. Where the fuck am I going? Josh. Okay. Okay. Fuck you, Bloom. In 2013, Chicago realized the promise of smart cities with CTOS, a citywide operating system merging big data with surveillance, security, and transit programs. With a few hundred lines of code, hackers were able to hijack its central servers and cripple the entire grid. Many believed the attack would be a killing blow for smart city development. They were wrong. Coordinated from the heart of Silicon Valley, CTOS 2.0 has been implemented across the United States, ushering in the Internet of Things. 6.4 billion connected devices now serve as collection points, mapping and recording our daily routines, making a more secure and more invasive system. But who else is listening? Big Brother no longer works alone. Thousands of little brothers monitor and aggregate your every move building a complete digital profile of you to be bought, sold, or stolen in an instant. Toys study your children, reporting their play habits back to marketers. Appliances, consoles, and home security systems give corporations a window into your private life. Control of your vehicle and mobile device can now be breached remotely by anyone at any time. You may think that you are immune or underestimate the risk, but your digital shadow is already compromised. Insurance companies use algorithms to monitor your life habits and limit or deny coverage. Health providers determine if your cancer is is worth treating. Search results and news feeds are skewed to bias mood and influence your vote, engineering social uprisings on a massive scale. You are now less valuable than the data you produce. Data you produce. This is the new reality. Going dark is no longer an option. With threats to personal freedom rising, many are stepping forward. Whistleblowers, activists, and hackers have drawn their battle lines, putting the establishment on watch. But are they threats themselves, or have they become freedom's last line of defense? Freedom's last... <laughs>